All right, here are some James Conner questions. Take the temperature of that situation. Another banged up, inefficient player thus far this year. Saved last week with the touchdown, but maybe that is what can provide you the ammo to trade him. Would you trade away James Conner for Nick Chubb? I would do that in a heartbeat. I guess that's probably going to be my answer to all of these, but I would trade James Conner for Nick Chubb. Yeah, I love I love James Conner. I actually I believe he is a good running back, but he's he's nicked up already, and the loss of Big Ben. I'm not on team quarterback goes out, so now they're going to rely on the running back. Like I want an elite quarterback running the team for my fantasy running back because I want scoring opportunities. So I will I will take Nick Chubb here. And did you guys catch the uh, the old Freddie Kitchens line about Nick Chubb? Oh, I did. I saw I it did walking not. into the, the office he, this morning. It's the, the classic, classic. Classic. I love Michael Keith. <laughs> classic line from head coach who controls the team saying, oh, man, I would love to get Nick Chubb some more looks. Well, if you know, you should talk to the guy who can do it. Do they ever Freddy? say that right in the mirror? Does Freddie ever wake up in the morning and just say, "I would like to get him some more looks"? What? It's so, so are you? So because you would like to see him say, "I'm going to give yes. him more looks." Yes. Yeah, yeah. As would I. Some coaches say that they say, "I didn't get the ball to him enough." You know, I'll try to get him the ball more. I, 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 it's I, just I like think we're all. Like, it's per. I, I got to figure this out. I think we're all How in possibly is that, Chubb going to get the ball? That Chubb is better than Connor at this point. I'm still in on Connor. Yeah, in I am too. General, I I think they just have a really good offensive line, and they're they're going to want to use him. Their offense might not be as good. I I'm certainly downgrading Connor without Big Ben, but I'm not off. I, I look at these other two questions coming in from Instagram and Facebook, and I'm on the Connor side. Do you believe James Conner's trade value will be better or worse two weeks from now? Uh, I think it they will got, be they, so they have about the same as what it is now. I mean, if if I had to choose, you know, what is what's their next two weeks schedule? Yeah, that, I don't have that. We're right on the road in San Francisco this upcoming week. Okay, it's coming off the injury, and then after the Niners, looks like it's the Bengals. So, I would yeah. say it's up. I would say it's up. Yeah, I would be. I I would personally move on from him. I know you guys both believe in him. Would you trade James Conner for Mike Evans? This is team dependent based on your needs at wide receiver and running back. Yeah, it's an even trade. Yeah, I would say it's a fair trade. So if you if you need a wide receiver, I am still in on Mike Evans. Uh, I think he's gonna have a really good week this week. Now this one is is interesting. Andy. It's a dynasty trade. Oh, I didn't realize it was dynasty from Facebook, and it's a James Conner for David Montgomery Ooh. trade. Would you in a dynasty league? Would you trade James Conner for David Montgomery? So they, yeah, the, the dynasty factor, and I, and I would the dynasty fact because you <laughs> like all James Conner questions going back six months. You were you were out. Well, I and it's it's tough because I don't want to just like I'm not sitting here trying to. There's no victory lap to be had. There's no like. Like, I've been out on James Conner because I don't believe that the truth of the first half of last year, you know, I don't think it's a reflection of his future production. And you, Now you've got these situations with Mason Rudolph the rest of the year. So, you know, I know you like the talent of Conner. I think he's just overvalued. So in that case, I would like to cash on on him before watching the Mason Rudolph experience with him just because of the risk factor. Like, I yes. think there's a there's lot of risk. There's a lot of. Like the the odds of Connor looking like the same dynasty asset he is today at the end of the year to me are lower than the odds of Montgomery's looking like a greater asset at the end of the year. So I'm that's where I split the difference. Sure. I don't think you throw Connor out in all circumstances by any means, but that that's just how I weigh in. Yeah, yeah. It, it, your your risk assessment is 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 right on. We do know, though, that this is Dynasty, so you're also factoring in next year as well. And Big Ben says he's coming back. The the surgery that he's having, he should be able to to recover from uh, as, as a quarterback. He says, I feel like I have a whole lot more to give. Yeah, so think- he's, he said he's coming back to play out the contract. So next year still has to be factored in. And I would – and James Conner, he's still on the rookie deal. I, I can't imagine – the, pay, uh, the Patriots, the Steelers moving on from James Conner when they have him for super-duper cheap and uh, the way that Tomlin rolls with, with the bell cow running back. Tomlin could be a concern 
Yeah, I mean, like I, if the team tanks, do they get rid of Mike Tomlin at the end of the year? Because that changes the equation massively. They did give him a one-year extension recently, so I would doubt they move on. But that's that's something you have to factor in. I, I think I would take the David Montgomery side here because I don't think the two are super far apart in value. You've got two years of age gap between these two running backs. It doesn't bother me. Uh, they're you know obviously David Montgomery is on his year one rookie contract, and the investment was more that the Bears gave than the investment to... Not by much. Yeah, not, not Well, not by much if you're just taking pick for pick, but considering what they had in the draft class, what they did to, to use the pick on David Montgomery, uh, I would take my opportunity. All right. It, traditionally, we see, I mean, we see the Steelers hang on to their head coaches for a long period of time. Right. It's interesting with Tomlin, you know, trying to put him in a position where you know he's never he's not going to be this lame duck coach at some point coming up, but he's still through twenty twenty one. I tend to think he'll be around. I do. Uh, even if they end up having to rebuild, you've got the built in excuse losing your quarterback. Right. I, I don't know if they let him go or not. Thank you so much for watching that video. It would make me so happy if you watched more of those videos. So click subscribe, ring that bell, and make your life a little better today.